Hello, Troy. I hope you're well. This is a very quick summary of last week's lesson, and it was just awesome to see how good you're doing on guitar. I fill this glass with about this amount of water. This is the exact amount of pressure I need for a bar cord. Do you remember how we held this last week? To give you an idea. And I'm holding this in front of the guitar. Watch what happens when I just remove that and bring it in. I have a perfect bar cord. There's no easier way to learn than that little exercise or move. Now, to summarize last week, first of all, we kept the third and little embedded. They didn't separate. There was no gap. Do you see the way they stay embedded as you're moving it around? Also, we clawed our hand, the claw, which does wonders. If anyone is watching this who hasn't done my bar cord program, even if you just claw your hand and maintain that claw as you're moving up and down, it will help you enormously. Also, we narrowed coming up between the first and the 10th fret so that wherever we stop, we were the correct weight. You don't want to come down and find you're too narrow and have to spread wide and then come up and find you're too wide and too narrow. So we narrow and we widen with the thumb maintaining that centered position up and down. Up and down. And we also turn the bar finger out about 30 degrees. The word bar is very misleading. Most self-taught people literally put that finger straight down. You have no chance if you do that. The finger has to, the first finger has to turn out to bring the other tree in front of the guitar to make it easier to change. So that's turned out. It is. If you've got all that, it would be awesome if you could weave that up and down. I've gone down to the fifth string bar chords, up to the sixth string bar chords, and down to the fifth and up to the sixth. That would be an awesome exercise. And it would be even more awesome if you could look at a Bob Dylan song called Lay Lady Lay, which starts with this chord on the sixth fret. Down. Up. And it, that's most of the song. A wonderful song for learning bar chords and guitar. So many skills in that short little piece and you can apply them to every other song you play after that. That's that's in one of your lessons. I can't remember which one on, on your bar chords program. There is a link to that actual exercise if you need to see it again. I hope all this helps try and I hope you have an awesome Christmas and I can't wait to see you in the new year.